Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Brian as always. And I'm Jiro, back with some more Bioshock Infinite Barrel at Sea. Episode 1, Part 2. So stay tuned for another installment of Chanley Style. Times have been a little rough, we've been really busy, uh, haven't been able to get together to finish this up, but we finally made time just before the release of episode two of Barrel at Sea, and uh, honestly, it was. I'm glad we finished it up, because it started getting a little bit boring in the middle, and it was completely worth it. Oh yeah, it was. I was blown away, I was excited, I'm super stoked uh, for the next one. We'll get to that, we'll get to okay. that. Okay. Don't give anything away before we get there. So anyway, once we picked up the controller, lost as shit. Could not figure out where to go, kept backtracking, didn't know which room to go to or even where we were at in the story, because instead of saving it at a set point like we said we would, we kept playing. And Anyway, so like I said, we got lost. Basically once you leave a room, left a room and came back in, there'd be plenty of respawns to uh, fight, and so we ended up going through a lot of ammo. This is the weirdest thing, because it felt like every time we went back to a room, there were more respawns than there was originally people in there. <laughs> <It's so laughs> funny. <laughs> but um, it was it was it was great. It was really cool. Um, let's see. Uh, so we left off last time. Uh, we had Old Man Winter. Yeah, okay. we just picked up Old Man Winter and uh, Shock Jockey. So once we figured out what was going on, we went back and we opened up all the locked doors with lock picks we had picked up and uh, the malfunctioning doors. Mm -hmm. I got some of the prizes through there. Um, went back down to the lower levels, and once you ride the elevator down before you do the water bridge, check under under the elevator. There's a dead guy, safe, a whole bunch of money. We of almost money. missed that, but like I said, we were so lost, we ended up stumbling upon it. Yeah, once we made this, uh, the, the ice bridge and crossed and you know, engaged in the next part of the story, that's the first time you see Sally. Oh, that's right, yes. Um, so you walk through, and... Um... They see, you know, they have one of those uh, little girl holes. What is it? The oh, uh, they called them, um, they called them heater vents. Heater vents. Exactly. But I always just called them like the little sister holes. Little sister girls. Okay, yes. Uh, so she was basically escaping into the little sister hole, and um, and if you guys know the premise of the whole story, it was to get her, right? Yeah, yeah that's, that was the whole idea. Um, so then Elizabeth has the great idea of, well, she found a schematic. Then she has this great idea that there are six vents. So close up all the vents except for one, and then basically turn up the heat, and the kids only got one choice, fry or come out the one hole. Kind of like smoking out a rabbit when you're hunting. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of a fucked up thing to do to a little kid. Yeah, this is definitely, uh, definitely pretty messed up, but uh, Booker definitely put up a little bit of resistance there. But in the end, uh, that's how the story progressed. Yeah, so after that, you go into the next room, and there's a pretty large encounter... Uh, hard fight. We're not very good at conserving ammo, so it was kind of a bitch. We ended up dying like three or four times just in that one fight. Ended up clearing the room, but then there's a little bit of a booby trap. There's a, like a small puddle like in a lower area, and there are a bunch of TVs and things have fallen into it. And I'm sitting there trying to figure out if there's a sky hook or if I can like maybe run through it and live. And that's when he came up with this genius idea. Well, first, I, didn't, I really didn't think there was going to be much over there until he pointed out the dead body sitting there and then something shiny. But um, basically, um, I think I'm um, thinking about thinking back to the whole uh, freezing the river things. Uh, uh, the, the, the broken pipes to make the bridge. Exactly. That's what I figured out. Um, maybe maybe frozen water doesn't conduct electricity. The game. And, uh, so, yeah, it worked out. We just blew a little bit of ice on there, and uh, next thing you know, we were walking over, and what did we get? Bucking Bronco. Bucking Bronco. Yeah. By the way, one of my favorite ones. Yes, yeah, especially <laughs> with the upgrades where you can bring yes. them close together, get them nice and close, and then <laughs> with lightning or a shotgun, completely cuts down on your uh, ammo use. Or fire. And lots of fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway, you make through, you close all the vents, you end up going up the stairs to the Toy Star, which was, you know, where you planned to end up anyway, to, where the last vent was and where the uh, thermostat was. So as you're going up, that's when... Uh, but like I said, we were having trouble conserving ammo. And that's when I realized that let's try changing weapons like you change plasmids. Because we couldn't figure out why we couldn't pick up guns to change weapons. We were running, what were we rolling with? Uh, the shotgun? 
and uh, yeah, the shotgun and, and the, the Tommy and the gun. gun. The yeah. Tommy gun <laughs> for the life of us. We could like, have... w- yeah, like one clip <laughs> in the Tommy gun, and, like three shells in the shotgun. And that's how we played through. Like, it... just, I mean, just go ahead and say I did a lot of meleeing. I got really good at that. Yeah, really good at the melee. We're idiots. <laughs> Couldn't believe that, and as soon as I pulled that, and the menu came up, I was really. I just really, had to take a minute to laugh. I was like, <laughs> I gave him the controllers. I don't even want to play anymore. Just, just I need a break. Clearly, I'm not thinking straight. Uh, anyway, but you make it up the stairs, and um, you get to a bend where there's like a teddy bear that's decapitated, and that's when Booker has another one of those flashbacks. And I'd forgotten about the flashbacks, and it scared me. But you know, he's over the wash basin again, kind of. Just, 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 and then you're back, and Elizabeth asks you if anything wrong, just like always. You press on, you go in, and um, close up the gates, um, crank up the heat, and then when you're there, why you didn't close? The, you close one vent in the toy store, and then you, you. I'm sorry, you leave the one vent that's open in the toy store, and then you go back, and there's a vent you close right by the thermostat, which to me didn't make any sense. Why wouldn't you leave that one open, right? Yeah, that one kind of threw me off too. I was just kind of that, that would that would make the best sense is just pop her right there instead of a chase chase her down. Yeah, but I guess the for the story progression and to have a bigger area to have the final boss battle, you 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 need the story to not make some sense, supposedly. Anyway, um, pop the vent. You chase her down. You try to pull her out, and that's when you realize that she was actually already turned. Yeah, that's uh, actually yeah, caught me completely off guard, too. Right, I kind of... Because they hadn't done the Little Sisters yet. Like, they were still just good little girls in uh, Ryan's area. I guess it was... Um, who was the guy that made the weapons that they kicked out? Uh, the The guy that you're trying to find. The guy who's got banned. Uh, the weapon maker guy. Oh, uh, man, I can't remember right now. Yeah, I can't either. Anyway, we'll come back to that. We'll put on the annotations. Uh... Basically, he must have been the one that had created the Little Sisters, which screwed the whole universe up in the, uh, you know, Bioshock 1 and 2. Uh, I mean, the the evil version of the Little Sisters. Anyway, um, like I said, it comes out, you're trying to to pull her out and you show her the little doll's head, which I should have done to me. That's some pretty terrible foreshadowing right there, but we're going to get to that. So as you're struggling to get her out, uh, she calls for um, Mr. Bubbles. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mr. Freaking, Bubbles. The Spider-Man of, of oh. uh, Big Daddies. Yes, um, 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 I remember the first time seeing one of those guys just uh, just pretty much slingshotting a giant drill across a water world and uh, drawing through like, what the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, definitely didn't have to fight it, but you end up having to. <laughs> um, by the way, that was really, really cool, awesome fight. Um, I'm really glad we got to fight him. I was looking forward to that the entire mm-hmm. game. Right. And uh, he does use that drill hook, by the way. Mm-hmm. So you guys know, heads up. Yeah, avoid that. It's not fun. <laughs> so anyway, after the tussle goes over, you finally move into the the last cinematic, the closing cinematic, where the uh, basically Booker gets double crossed. Uh, there's a flashback, you know, the one where they're pulling the baby through, and that's how Elizabeth loses her pinky. Except this one has a slightly more twisted ending. The baby's head doesn't make it through the portal before it closes. They're sitting there arguing, um, you know, saying it's not your kid, you know, you can't keep him, take him through or keep him here or something like that. And um, meanwhile, the the portal's closing. Yeah, because he's Comstock screaming to close the portal, thinking that he can save the baby or whatever. And oh, stop man. And stop Booker so Comstock could have the baby. Anyway, like, like I said baby loses its head and that's when I realized that the doll's head was the foreshadowing of the baby losing its head. Really graphic. It was pretty dark actually, honestly. Yeah. It, it blew, my, blew me away. It was, mm-hmm. I was just kind of like sitting there like, oh man, that's, that's harsh, that's heavy. <laughs> so anyway, the two twins come out and tell him that, you know, he couldn't have it. Uh, and then the big daddy gets up and drills through him, bunch of blood splatter all over Elizabeth's face. And basically, that's when he realizes Booker is not Booker. You've been playing as Comstock the entire time. He couldn't handle what he had done, so he had the twins put him into Rapture so he could live a different life because he couldn't handle the things that he had done. Totally. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's um, one of one of the things he kept that doll head to try and kind of remember. Yeah, right, right. But, yeah, that was just... 
Oh, yeah, because once you go through the portal, part of your memory gets erased. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Um, so what do you think... Why do you think they waited till the end to kill Comstock? I'm sure they're going to show it in part two or maybe explain it, but the whole time she's on his side. She's fighting him helping for him, him helping him. She could have just let him run into a freaking horde. That's of... what I was thinking. That's yeah. what I, The whole idea was just like, she could have just... You know, double. sabotage them, double cross them earlier. Right, and, and it doesn't make for a very interesting plot line, Not but still, it kind of makes you wonder what are they going to do in the next game? How are they going to explain this? Or are they going to leave this open ended? I, you know what? One of the things I think maybe that is kind of like to prove a point, kind right. of like, um, because at the at the end, uh, first of all, I don't think Bubbles was with Elizabeth the entire time. I think that she had to get to get to Bubbles. No, right? no. Uh, so when the kid called, that's when Mister oh, Bubbles yeah, that's came. Right. So Elizabeth. And Bubbles, they're not they're not teams, but the twins, Elizabeth, were a team. Oh, yeah, that's right. And uh, Sally, Sally was just kind of like uh, the, the protagonist, the one keeping the story going, because mm-hmm. they needed to get to her. But honestly, what I think it is, is for the Barely at Seas, is when Booker realized that he was Comstock, that's when part of the timeline changed. Otherwise, they were in infinite loops of different things happening. So I think they're actually hunting the Comstocks to make the Comstocks realize the terrible things that they've done and hopefully break the loop of baby Elizabeth's being mangled in all universes. That's actually a good observation. I like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. I am so... St- I can't wait for the next one now. Dude, really, I'm that, that ending... Oh, man. There's so much going to happen in March, though, because you've got, you've got uh, Titanfall... Uh, obviously the Bioshock Infinite, and I know there's a bunch more games that are coming out. I'm going to be so distracted and oh, tied yeah, up with yeah. just games. This is going to be a lot of fun in March. <laughs> Let's just say my girlfriend's going to be mad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Especially with uh, February 14th coming up and two ge- two big game drops coming that day. Girlfriends too. and wives around, be- beware. <laughs> yeah. February 14th is not going to be a big day for uh, non-gamers. Yep. <laughs> well, that's pretty much the end of Bioshock Infinite Part 1. I mean, uh, Episode 1. This is our Part 2. Hopefully when Episode 2 comes out, we can get a prompt video out. Uh, As for your your friend Josh was... um, Basically, he mentioned that we should add in video clips or screenshots of what we're playing. But I don't have the means to do that right now. I plan on actually making a capture box using an Ava Media card. So in the future, when we do game reviews and things like that, there will be more... But for right now, it's just going to be observations, and obviously, if you played the game, use your memory, use your imagination, and, you know, be more interactive. Comment down below. We'll, we love talking about this stuff, so send us what you got. Send us what you think. It'd be, uh, you know, like I said, great, great to, you know, get someone else's input. So, like I said, be more interactive. Make sure to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch. And don't forget, when you're gaming or building computers, do it Chanley style. (laughs) All right.